Hey there everyone, this is Joe in general, your resident reason and evidence enthusiast. It's your weekly Bitcoin price analysis update. It is Wednesday the 11th of October 2017. Welcome to the new subscribers that have come on board in the last week since doing my weekly Bitcoin price analysis and this one on Populous, why I bought more today or well that day that is. A total of 6,079 right now. Welcome to all the newbies. Now, this video I think I'm going to entitle uh, next stop 7000 question mark. Of course, I put the question mark in there because I'm, it's not a statement of fact. Of course, I could be wrong, but I'm going to make the case today that I, I believe um, that 7000 will be or, or around about 7000 will be the next uh, significant level of resistance. So I think, you know, after we break through 5000, I think 7000 may be the next major level before we see a, a decent drop in the price. So I'll try and make that case today as best as I can. Now, before we uh, talk about where the price is going, I need to quickly talk about where the price came from. This is my video from last week. Uh, a lot of lines here. If you're watching my videos for the very first time, I'll try and explain those as best as I can in a second. But uh, for my uh, subscribers, of course, we were talking about this uh, micro trend line. And if you didn't watch the video, just go watch it. I'm not going to bore you with all the, the previous details. The main thing uh, last week I was suggesting is that I think this micro trend line was one that would still be very much in play. We may see, you know, it continue to be a level of resistance. And then once it busts through that trend line, it may become a level of support. That's kind of basically the, the deal with last week's video, I guess. So we, of course, we talk about other things about potential down targets and, you know, further up targets, etc. But that's kind of the main gist. So this is where we are right now. This is the live price, of course. It's the bitcoinwisdom.com website. It's the Bitstamp exchange uh, price, that is, and it's priced in US dollars. So this is where we were. This is the four hour time frame. And we did come back up to uh, this area here of 4460, roughly. Um, looks like we tried possibly, okay, actually, I'll do it right here. Looks like possibly, well, not possibly, this here was uh, definitely looked like to be a failed breakdown. And uh, as my buddy from uh, Money Charts, as Derek says from Money Charts, oftentimes from a failed move, so it looked like it was trying to push lower, uh, maybe down to this 50% Fibonacci mark, but oftentimes from failed moves comes a fast move in the opposite direction. Actually, I'll try and do that, that's a little better. Comes a fast move in the opposite direction. And then looks like we had, um, you know, a potential, uh, uh, descending triangle here, but no, it did break up to the upside and finally busted straight through that micro trend line. And lo and behold, right now we did, um, you know, pierce quite a, a little bit, quite a way above the micro trend line right here. And we topped out at about $4,870. And if I punch in a little uh, further, it looks like pretty bang on the money. That micro trend line right here is currently a significant level of support. Now, just for the people watching my videos for the first time, and I'll keep this very brief for my regular subscribers because you've seen and heard this uh, quite a few times. Uh, but if I punch out maybe to the three day, here we've got some certain trend channels. This one very much in the rear view mirror. I think this one's in the rear view mirror for quite a long time, probably forever until the really, really massive bubble that bursts sometime in the future, whenever that will be. Um, but we're in this current trend channel right now. And if I punch in maybe to the 12 hour, uh, this is the micro trend line. So that's the major trend line right here, the bottom end of the trend channel, the top end of the trend channel. So they're kind of major trend lines, but this micro one here, it's um, going through one, see if you see right there, one, two, three, four, five levels of support. And then it became one, two levels of resistance there. Another just a recent level. Let me punch it even quicker, even uh, further. Another level, slight level of resistance there. Tried to pierce above it, but then it was a failed breakup. So it had a fast move to the downside. And then it's sort of been punching, uh, punching on the door, on the trap door. Uh, from below uh, a couple of times here uh, and, and a little bit here as well and then uh, just breaking through. So that's why I think this is still quite a significant trend line right there and it seems to be proving that at the moment. So where could we go from here? And I, I will, of course, I'll be making the case for the 7,000, but let's quickly talk about the downside from here. 
Of course, we've got this linear Fibonacci calculation from the high of 49.80 and the low of 29.72. So we've got all these levels, the 78.6, 61.8, 50%, 38.2, 23.6. Um, if I was a betting man, which obviously I am because I'm you know, in cryptos and I invest in uh, silver and gold and, and many other sorts of things. So obviously I have a kind of, you know, a bit of a, a gambling uh, gambling aspect to me, but I am a betting man, but I would suggest that. And of course I could be wrong, but I would suggest that uh, possibly the 50% mark may be in the review mirror now. I think if we are going to break down further, this will be, you know, this would be a level of resistance, 4,550. And this uh, 61.8 would be another level of, uh, sorry, support, I, I should say, levels of support there and level of support there at 4,200 roughly. Um, we could certainly break down to the 50% at around about your $4,000 level, but I think that's possibly in the... Uh, the rearview mirror in the short term. Um, so that's where we could certainly break down from there. And of course, you've got this little level that we recently busted through at 4,460 roughly. Um, but it does seem, if I punch in again, maybe to the one hour time frame, it does seem uh, right here. We tried to uh, break through, as you can see, we had that 4,865. It looked like it was trying to break through. And again, it was a failed move. So it had a fast move to the downside and it happened to sit down there right as uh, the support level here on that micro trend line. Looks like we're trying, uh, our, we, looks like the Bitcoin price is trying its best to break through 4,865 as soon as possible, which I think, you know, means it's going to be on its way to the all-time high 49 80 and, you know, break that $5,000 psychological barrier. Um, in between there though, what you might see quite possibly is a bouncing uh, up, a bouncing against that micro trend line right here. And of course, you know, touching here the 4980 and we may come to an inflection point, not right where this corner meets, but you know, it may bust out uh, to all time highs around about this uh, time here, quite possibly, I would say that would be the maximum time. And that sits at around about kind of, let's see, maybe, two, three, four days from now, although it could happen right away. You never know. The Bitcoin price does that sometimes. It has wild, wild moves. Uh, but you know, you're in this and you understand that uh, the price does, does and is very, very volatile. But you know, you're riding the wave just like me. So now here's me making the case for $7,000 US based on the Bitstamp exchange for now, but also keep in mind um, it could be, you know, around about, it could be, you know, also based on maybe the Bitfinex price as well, but I'm thinking around about the $7,000 mark uh, will be a significant level of resistance. Um, and when I say 7,000, it could be, you know, a little bit under, a little bit over, but it's around about that ballpark area. So I'm going to make the case um, uh, for three reasons, and I'm going to give you those reasons um, in order of least likely to most likely reason why the price would go to 7,000. I hope that makes sense. So from least likely to the most likely reason why 7,000 is the next major target. So number three being the least likely, doesn't mean I'm discounting it, but the least likely uh, would be because of Cliff High's WebBot predictions. If you're not familiar with Cliff High and his WebBot reports, do some research on it. As I've said many, many times before, um, I am trialing the Cliff High WebBot thing. I've only been purchasing since about June. Um, and I still, you know, I'm, I'm doing my research, data, you know, collecting data, trying to figure out, is it a real phenomenon or is it a self-fulfilling prophecy? Either way, I don't really care because the result is the same. It's just, if it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, then, you know, people trade accordingly, according to what his research is, and then it takes the price there. So I really don't care either way, whether it's a real phenomenon or a self-fulfilling prophecy, but I am trialing it. And I must say, from what I'm hearing, from what I'm hearing from uh, people that I'm speaking to in the community. A lot of people are very keen on Cliff High. They're saying, look, I've been purchasing since, you know, a year ago and he's made me a lot of money. Um, uh, and I've also, I'm also hearing there, and I haven't met these people, but I'm hearing that there are certain people who buy his reports, they have very deep pockets. 
Um, and so, you know, there, there are people who trust uh, his information. Again, I am reserving my um, reserving my full judgment on it until I collect more data. But the reason why I mentioned Cliff first is because in one of his reports, sorry for scrolling, I'm just trying, I'm trying to keep it interest, interesting while I speak. In one of his um, recent reports, he suggested that 6,800 may be uh, a level of resistance before a significant dip. Now, 6,800 US, now he, I think he mentions that you know, that could be, it's not necessarily based on one particular exchange price. So if he says 6,800, uh, that could be the Bitfinex price. It could be the Bitstamp price. It could be another exchange price. It could be the US dollar equivalent of wherever uh, the Chinese price goes, for example. But he's suggesting around about 6,800. Now, for me personally, um, I think 6,800 is close enough for Jazz uh, to that, to my $7,000 mark. So that's reason number one, the least likely reason. I'm not discounting it, but it's the least likely reason why I think it'll go to 7,000, but I did want to include that first. So the second reason, uh, the second and third reasons are to do with technical analysis, and that's Fibonacci analysis. So the second reason uh, is to do with not linear Fibonacci, but exponential Fibonacci. So I've been talking about exponential Fibonacci for a very long time. This is my exponential Fibonacci calculator. And we're going to look at, uh, I'll show you, for example, um, uh, this, uh, again, based on this high here of 49.80 and the low of 29.72. And I punch it into my little calculator right here, my exponential Fibonacci calculator, not linear, exponential. So the high of 49.80 and the low of 29.72. And you get, lo and behold, a 1.618, which is a very key Fibonacci level um, uh, when uh, when you're trying to work out up targets from breaking through uh, um, you know, a high. Uh, you know, going into sort of all new high territory. 1.618 is a key level, and it happens to be sitting right there at 6,851. That seems for me personally to be close enough, again, to that $7,000 mark. I, and particularly when you're talking about the logarithmic scale. And what I mean by that is um, a logarithmic scale measures percentage increase and decrease versus um, dollar or fiat currency or dollar, uh, dollar denominated uh, increase and decrease. So it measures percentage increase, okay? So the difference, the percentage difference increase between uh, 6,850 and 7,000 is a very, very minute percentage increase, okay? So I think I'm gonna call that close enough for jazz once again to that $7,000 mark. Now, I must uh, say that there is another Fibonacci level, which is lower than 7,000 and lower than 6,850. Um, and it's based on the linear Fibonacci level. So I, I must say this could potentially be the level as well, but I'm going to stick with the 7,000, but I just did want to show you this as well. Uh, this is the tradingview.com website. I use this uh, when I can't get higher to see higher prices in Bitcoin Wisdom. It's actually still the Bitstamp exchange price. It's just a different website. So it's the exact same chart. Uh, just in a different program, if that makes sense. So right here again, so this is the exact same, the high of 49.80, the low of 29.72, just like it is right here, except I can see the Fibonacci extensions. And the Fibonacci extension we have, the 1.618, just, like just like I talked about here with the exponential Fibonacci, the linear Fibonacci, sorry for all the uh, movements there, the linear Fibonacci, uh, 1.618 uh, level is $6,213 roughly. So um, I will admit, I think I mean, that could be a possibility. I could be wrong, of course, I could be wrong. And 7,000 may not be, or around 7,000 may not be the significant level. It could be based on the linear Fibonacci from the high of 49.80 and the low of 29.72, again, at around that $6,200 mark. So that is a distinct possibility, so do bear that in mind. Um, but the third reason 
why I think we're kind of more looking towards the $7,000 mark is again, uh, it is Fibonacci and it's linear Fibonacci, but it's based on a different high and a different low. And it happens to be this one right here. It's the long, long term Fibonacci high, uh, the high here, sorry, of uh, going back to November of 2013, let me get rid of that, 2013 of 1163 and the low of 152.40. Again, it's the Bitstamp Exchange price. So this is a very long-term view. Again, high of 1160, low of 152. And when you punch that in, you've got some very key Fibonacci levels that have been hit already, if you check that out. Now, for example, uh, you will notice that the 1.618 was not a level of um, a significant level of resistance, at least on the I'm on the weekly time frame here. If I was to punch in, let's see, maybe to the I won't do that. If I punch in uh, a little bit further, it was a little bit of resistance there at uh, 1,780, but not a massive amount. So it did after breaking through the high of 1160 uh, back in where are we? It was back in. Uh, February of this year, eventually uh, breaking through. Um, it didn't spend uh, much time at all at that first level of 1.618. In fact, it barreled all the way up to that very close and a little bit piercing above of the 2.618, and that was at 2,780. And in fact, and that's where we topped out at that 2,980. Uh, as you can see right there, let me maybe go into a little bit closer. Um, and then... Uh, we had a decent retracement back down, interestingly, back down to that close to that 1.618 level. So it did uh, touch it, but on the retracement side, not on the upside. So we did retrace down. And then when once we broke through there at the uh, that mark right there, we happened to come uh, and sit around the 4.236 uh, Fibonacci extension mark of 4,413. We had a little bit of a pierce above right there. That's that 4,900. Uh, 80 mark right there. So it's, it was kind of sitting around and then we did retrace back down kind of ish close to that 2.618. So the level that I'm, I'm showing you, and I'm sure you can see it right here, after we break through, I think the 4,980 mark, or let's call it $5,000 psychological value, then the next Fibonacci level at the 6.854 level is Drum roll, please, $7,045. Of course, give or take, um, you know, that cliff high thing, 6,800. So to give you an indication, right, let me just pop right in here so you can see that. And I'll put that, this is again on the weekly time frame. And this, uh, this level right here is the Fibonacci level of 4.236. And right here, so this is where cliff high is. The cliff high is saying 6,800. See, this is logarithmic scale. The percentage increase is so tiny. So right there, is 6,800, okay? Right here is reason number two of exponential Fibonacci of uh, right there, even, that's even too high. That's 6,840, and it's only a tiny little blip uh, to get to 7,000 right there. And actually, technically, as I said, that mark was 7,045. So as you can see, I think hovering around this price, if, if, it's not that linear Fibonacci level of 6,200. I will admit it could certainly be that, but I think the three reasons, uh, Cliff's uh, WebBot report, which again, I think could be a self-fulfilling prophecy. If enough people believe it, they will trade accordingly, accordingly and that will drive the price there. The exponential Fibonacci calculation of 68.51. And finally, as I said, I don't mean to repeat myself, guys, but I think it really needs to uh, be hit home. Uh, of that longer term uh, exponential Fibonacci extension of the uh, 6.854 level from the high of 1163, the low of 152, and about 7,045. I think you can comfortably call that 7,000. I think th those three prices very much comfortably sit in that uh, ballpark for error, in my opinion. So that is my case for uh, next stop 7,000. Of course, I absolutely could be wrong. Uh, this is just my opinion. You should not use this as trading advice. You should do much more research. Go check out other people's um, uh, predictions for the Bitcoin price, you know, uh, moving ahead. 
Um, but of course, if you like what I'm doing and you are not a subscriber, you are welcome to hit that big red button right there. Uh, lots to come on my channel. I do uh, ICO reviews. Uh, I do my uh, monthly firearm thing. You, my subscribers know that. Uh, but just check out my uh, other videos on my channel. You may see there's other things on there that may um, meet your interest other than just the crypto stuff. I'm going to leave it at that, gang. Hopefully I've made the case uh, well enough for you. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you want to stay updated. Thanks, gang. Stay safe. Stay informed. Speak soon.